guys good morning happy sunday sunday morning we're gonna do a uh, remember we did that frogeta terrier this is a bit similar frogeta baida it's a uh, frogeta mixed together the other one was tataria this is with egg it's a uh, very similar to a, a moroccan omelet um but it's i think they do it in other countries but English omelette is a little bit different, you know, we turn it over. This one, anyway, I'm going to show you as you're going along. We need these two, let me show you. We've got oil. I got, you go, join me having a cup of tea. I fancy some tea this morning, but I thought, anyway, prosciutto. This is more like a gammon. Um, we've got some tomatoes, tadam, bite, eggs. And here I've got a bit of a mixture, but you can do anything with this, guys. You can just mix anything with it. Let me show you what I've got. Tourcine, uh, parsley, bazelli, peas, and fungi. Uh, fungi is an Italian word, but I think we use mushrooms in Maltese anyway as well. You need a mixing bowl, need some oil. I'm gonna use olive oil and a pan. That's it, guys. So what we're gonna do, put the oil in the, uh, in the pan. Let's get it up to heat. And then what we do then, um, let me put you back there so you can see me better. What we do then, we do the mixture. Uh, I'm still sleepy guys. It's a normal Sunday morning. Lots of hassle on the telephone. I'm retired at last. You probably heard it on the other channel. I don't know which one's gonna come first. Last, last week was the last week of my time. So I'm gonna dedicate a lot to YouTube now. I'm gonna do a lot more videos. Anyway, this is a gammon, but you can use anything. A couple of slices. Tell you, tell you what, guy, this uh, froja, tarbaida. Uh, Just bung anything into it. It's no, there's no hassle about what you'd use. Steve, I use this one, I use that one. And, oh, don't put that in. Uh, lots of mortis, put garlic. I'm not going to put garlic in. Some some put garlic, uh, some herbs, things like that. But I'm not going to bother. I know somebody that puts it in raw. It was quite nice. I had it once. Couple of couple of I've got cherry, but you don't have to use cherry. You can use anything you want. Make it up. Make everything a bit small, though. It's a lot lot easier. Move that out the way, Steve. We can't see what, what you're doing. I don't really know what I'm doing. This is an Englishman cooking Maltese food. Like I say, what can go wrong? <laughs> hey, I like the comments of the... I don't remember his name. <laughs> I've got an Englishman <laughs> telling me about my pronunciation. <laughs> that's rich. Ah, nothing bothers me, guys. Anyway, that's the peas the mushrooms and the torsine. So bung that in as well. The, the tomatoes we did. Let's put it in. So you see what I'm doing here. It's always a bit difficult with the camera angles to show you. Now I'm not sure about the eggs, like the last time. But I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put three in there. A lot of people say whisk it before and I haven't read that comment. He said the reason why you whisk it before. I don't know. But I'm not gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Steve, you make me mad. You don't do what I'm what I tell you. <laughs> Let's give it all. I got it on what I do anyway. So let me tell you this, what I do. Because a lot of people say, Steve, whisk the egg first, put it in there. But what I do is I Put the vegetables on one side and I mash the eggs up on the one side so it is all whisked up before it all goes into the mixture. You know what I'm going to, what I forgot really, because I like a bit of uh, salt and pepper. I'm going to put that in. Hang on guys. It's always nice to season them, season your food, eh? What do you think? Uh, anyway, this, I'll show you how it looks in a minute. Let's go. Sunday morning is a bit... You need something a bit fast. We're going to go out later, so... I've got a lot of hassle. After the business finished, I've got a van and I've got to sort out the old stock. Most of it's gone, but... Anyway, come here. Come here, guys. 
Have a look how it looks there. And what are you going to do then? Is that heating up? We've got the pan heating up there. So they give everything a good, a good mix up. A bit of good mash up. I always get mixed up with bite. Bite is weird. Bite is more than one. Oh, this Morty's language, eh? <laughs> so what I'll do anyway, and give you a bit of a heads up. I've got the pan, it's heating up. Need a little bit more heat, I think. I've got a lid. So what I'll do is, I'm gonna show you in a minute, I'll move the camera around. Can you get me in okay? Uh, I'm gonna get the oil he heated up. Uh, get it cooked, the bottom part. Put the lid on the top. And then give it a quick turnover. I think that's what you have to do. Anything different, guys, tell me in the comments. Tell me if you've got uh, another way to do it. Let's just test it how it is. All right, it's ready. I'm gonna put it down a bit because I think the camera's not quite picking that up. Anyway, everything's in there, guys. Let's flatten it out. Put it down a bit so you can see it. Yeah. yeah, that's in the camera. And really, blast it away. Blast it away, guys, until it starts forming. So we'll be back soon. I'll finish my cup of tea. Cheers, guys. Happy Sunday. I think it's going to take a few minutes, eh? While I'm talking, subscribe. You haven't subscribed, you. That one, I'm talking to you. Press that button. Normally I don't mind, it's up to you. But that's it. Needs a bit of garlic. I think uh, I cocked that up. But I don't think I have any. And I was gonna put some onions in. What do you think, guys? Some onions and garlic would have made it a lot nicer. But anyway, leave it for a few minutes. Let it firm up, then put the lid on. Let's see how it goes. We're back, guys. What we did now, put the lid on for a bit, so it firms up. I'm gonna do, give it a toss, but I don't know if it's gonna get too much on it. Let's see how we go. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh, it's a little bit soft. Just that little bit too soft, maybe, the top. It's gone all right. It's quite nice. Look at that, guys. I never did this before. Normally I do... <laughs> Can you see me okay? Normally I do a, a Spanish omelette, you know, when you fold it over. But uh, I was talking to the others when they said fraud your... Oh, I noticed your video, they said. I noticed you did that fraud your tataria. Why don't you do a fraud your tabaida? It's uh, very similar, but it's like a mixture of things, Eric, and things like that. So this shouldn't take long then to get set. Yeah, it's, hey, that's nice, guys. The smell is lovely. Mmm. Anyway, let's get my plate ready. I think that shouldn't take long now because I had the lid on top. I put the lid to to make it sort of a bit thicker on the top, and it worked as well because I was thinking, oh God, look at it, it's all it's all liquidy, and it was still a little bit more. So perhaps I was scared of getting on the underneath burns, you know. But it's just a nice gentle brown. It's not uh, it's not burnt at all. So maybe a little bit more, it would have got burnt. I put some Maltese bread on. <laughs> this is gorgeous. This Maltese bread, I tell you. If you're ever in Malta, ever come to Malta, let me put this while that's cooking in a few minutes. If you're ever in Malta, I tell you, go for the Maltese bread. It's not good for the waistline, girls, but it's good. <laughs> anyway, let's put that like that. Let's turn you over a little bit. Can you see that? Oh, can you see me? Okay. Yeah, this should be good. I've got my plate ready. Ooh, it's 
Steve. You've excelled yourself. <laughs> Look, guys. It's sizzling a bit. I'm going to take it up the heat. Did I ever tell you guys? I hate these electric cobs. Anyway, there you go. Some Maltese bread. We're going to have a go now. Can you see me? Oh, yeah. Let's move over here. Yeah. Anyway, guys. A bit of Maltese bread. Frogget albida. Beautiful. You listen to this crunch, guys. I tell you, it's gonna blow you away. More toasted Morty's bread. Come here, come closer. Oh, Steve, you're killing us. Why am I killing you? We missed that Morty's bread. Oh, look at this. Come here, guys, look at this. It's gorgeous. Wow, what a taste. And the egg is still... You gonna drop? You gonna drop? It's nice and fluffy, the egg. Yeah, I think it needed that garlic. <coughs> Put some garlic in, guys. I was tempted to put a bit of chilli in it, but the the torsine, the parsley, it's made a lot of difference. It's uh, really brought it up to another level. And that gammon, it's not a cheapo. It's uh, you can put cheap, you know, like a sandwich ham, if you got with the kids and the family. But that gammon, that's got a lovely taste. You want to spoil yourself. Go for that. Anyway, that's my Sunday morning breakfast. What are you eating? A nice cup of tea. Froja Tabaida. Take care, guys. Hope you enjoyed Englishman cooking. What can go wrong? He's cooking Morty's food again. Bye, everybody. Take care.